Tonight, a sigh of relief after a chaotic and stressful day in central East Austin. A crane operator is back on the ground after the tops of two cranes crashed into each other at a construction site in the Miller area this morning. When the two cranes collided, they got tangled together. It happened at a work site off Robert Browning Street. 22 workers were hurt. 16 of them ended up going to local hospitals. The good news is most of their injuries were minor. That is the good news here. Now the crane operator was up there for hours, making sure things didn't get worse until he was able to come down safely. But now the long process of figuring out what happened begins. KV's Luis De Leon is live at the scene tonight in Luis. The cranes are finally separated. Yeah, that's right. The sun is down now, so it is a bit hard to see, but those cranes were actually separated just before 6 p.m. today. Now, crews are actually working on building offices in the space that's right behind me. Now, as for the stretch of road that I'm standing on right now, it is still blocked off in pretty much all the spots to get onto this road. Right now, we're at the corner of Miller Boulevard and Robert Browning Street. There is a barricade up right here as well. Even after 22 people were reportedly hurt, thankfully, a majority of those are not serious. In an instant, I just heard a big like bang. The whole day can change. Something you didn't, wouldn't hear on your normal day, you know. Some who lived nearby heard it. It sounded like pipes rolling. Others, no, I didn't hear anything over the TV. Officials say two cranes collided early Wednesday in the Miller neighborhood in Central East Austin. OSHA is investigating, and no one is saying exactly why or how this happened. 16 went to the hospital, but they didn't get hurt when the cranes collided, but in the rush of people trying to run away from them. Thank God it's rare. Hopefully you never see it. Kit Lundin has been a tower crane operator for 40 years. He says he expects cranes knocking into each other actually happens a few times a year in Austin. He also says communication is key when it comes to operating cranes on work sites like this. Depends on who's supposed to have the responsibility to watch for stuff like this. There's multiple layers of safety in, on these jobs. The crane operator stayed in one of the cranes for most of the day, but not because he was in danger, but as a safety measure. He's not up there just to sit there. He's up there to prevent that crane, to keep that crane exactly where it's at until they can get the engineers to look at it, to decide what they need to do and get the personnel up there to un unhook those two, get them, get them unhooked. Which they did until this Texas-sized problem came to an end. Now the company Cadence McShane tells us in a statement that safety is their number one priority and they're working with the crane subcontractor and authorities to figure out what happened. Brian? Luis, had there been any problems with safety at this work site prior to today? Well, Brian, nothing at this specific work site, but the construction company, as I mentioned before, Cadence McShane, was actually celebrating a company-wide safety week, tweeting these photos this morning. Now, according to the Labor Department, OSHA reported two violations against Cadence McShane in the past 10 years, one in 2017 and one in 2013. Both cases were settled and closed, and OSHA and investigators are on the ground investigating. Brian? Luis DeLeon, live for us in East Austin. Luis, thank you for that.